Hey there, squad fam. I have a fast favor to ask of you. So usually at the end of the video, I usually say, hey, if you like this video, hit on the like button, comment, subscribe, things like that. But I'm going to ask you earlier in this video because I'm testing a YouTube algorithm. So if even if you like the video or dislike the video, I just want to see what YouTube does with this video with this little test. So please give this thing a really fast thumbs up right below. It takes half of a second uh, and I truly appreciate it. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we're going to talk about three underrated features built inside of Samsung Messages and the Samsung Keyboard. So if you're using the stock messaging application and the keyboard, here's three features or tricks you should definitely check out. The first one is gonna be scheduling a text message. So if you have your keyboard down, you'll see four little squares. But let's say that your keyboard is up, you're gonna see this little arrow. Well, once you click on the arrow, click on those four little uh, squares and click on schedule message. So the really nice thing about this is that let's say somebody says, hey, tomorrow morning I'm popping on a plane, uh, send me a text at 3 a.m. just to make sure I'm up. Um, or somebody says, hey, at 5 p.m., can you remind me to do this or pick up chicken or do something? It's kind of like sending a reminder to somebody else, but scheduling it so you don't have to do it personally because maybe you don't want to wake up at 3 a.m. or you might forget to send something at 5 p.m. So let's go for the very first one, the 3 a.m. little option. Maybe it's tomorrow, Friday morning, and you wanna send off a little text message and you don't wanna wake up at that moment in time. Uh, so you just set up a scheduled Friday, 3 a.m., and you just say something like, um, you know, have a safe trip. So once you're done with that, you click on the send. Now at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, this, te this text message will send off to them. But maybe you needed to edit this delete it, change it, do whatever, click on that little clock icon and you can either send it now, you can delete it or you can edit it. So maybe you're in an argument with somebody, uh, your wife or husband, and maybe you're thinking of sending a text message off. You might as well schedule it for later on in the day. And as you look at it, you look at it, you look at it. And you're like, you know what? This looks good to me. I'm going to send it now. Click on that little clock hit send now, or maybe it's something you need to think about. And you're like, no, I'm not going to send that. I'm just going to get in trouble with that one. So scheduling text messages uh, definitely helps out. It's one of those things that is underrated. Not everybody uses it every single day, but at least now you know it is there. The second feature that we'll talk about today will be one that's built inside of your Samsung keyboard. So any application that uses the Samsung keyboard, this will work at all of the locations. So this again will work inside of, let's say, a email application such as Gmail. So what you want to do is open up your keyboard and click on settings. Now, again, this is your settings of the Samsung keyboard and go inside of smart typing and then you can do text shortcuts. So let's say that you send off emails. Maybe you send text messages, but you keep on stating the same phrases. Uh, so let's say, you know, ILU can stand for I love you. Uh, my email with no space will be sending a my, my email to people. So let's say that we go to this one right here and I do my email. Now what's gonna happen is in the middle there, it's gonna suggest that entire thing that you just placed as that little text shortcut. And so now with that one little quick word, it does that. Let's say that I do the ILU and then I click on space and there we go. Now you have that frequently used little phrase that you state. Now let's say that you do type in the letters, you know, ILU, but you want it to do that. Uh, just type in your little checkbox or check mark and there, there you go. You got your three little letters that you want to send off. So now I'm going to show you how you can add one in. And there is one that I do want to add and I'm going to do it right now. It's one that I send all the time and that is my PO box. So when companies ask me, hey, do you want to review this? Or if anybody wants to send me fan mail or something like that, which I don't get, um, then I'm going to do something like this. Uh, let's go to Addy. Um, Addy is a word that you probably wouldn't normally do in a regular sentence. You can see here, Addy isn't even a word that would normally pop up. And right there, I'm just gonna paste in the PO box that I have. I'm gonna hit on add and there we go. So now the next time somebody sends me an email that says, hey, Jimmy, what do you think about this product? Do you wanna review it? Or hey, Jimmy, I wanna send you, send you some fan mail. Um, all I gotta do is just type in Addy, uh, hit uh, the space bar and there we go. That one is all done, simple, easy incomplete. Uh, instead of me typing in or trying to figure out something for about 40, 45 seconds, uh, I just type in one little uh, four letter word and there we go. Now, the third feature that we're going to talk about today is one that's built inside of Samsung messaging. So it's not built inside of the keyboard. And it's this one right inside of here with the four little squares and it's called quick responses. So uh, you can see in here that there's a lot of these that you might not ever say 
like ever. Uh, but these top three ones I did add in, it says, you know, I love you, babe. How's work? Sounds good to me. So this way, if you don't want to, you know, keep on creating all those little text shortcuts inside the keyboard, you can just have a quick response inside of your messages. So if you say sounds good to me all the time, you're able to just simply click that. Now, if you want to add in your own little quick uh, responses, go inside of the main screen here with all your conversations, click on those three little dots, go inside of settings, you go inside of more settings, and then quick responses. Now, if there's some of these that you see that you would never really say, uh, can we meet? That's kind of weird. Uh, it doesn't really seem personal. Um, let's see here. I'm running late, but I'll see you soon. You know, that could maybe work. I'll talk to you soon. Where's the meeting? Well, I don't really ever go to meetings and I don't ever say that either. And so now that you deleted some of those, you don't want, let's say that you wanted to add in your own, let's just say something like, uh, you know, what works this week? Let's say that this is something that you state all the time, hit on the little plus button. And there you go. So let's go inside of one of these little conversations and let's put in one of those quick responses and you can just see how quick that is. If you just wanted to send something off really fast, you can get it done in just a couple seconds. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. Uh, if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video as well. And I'll see you guys later.